Welcome everyone to the Green Acre Art Committee People of the Eye Virtual Art Show. COVID-19 caused us to adjust from wall hangings to this virtual world. We want to express a deep appreciation to all our contributing artists for regrouping and patiently going along with this ride. The hope behind me expresses my personal feelings about this current condition. However, my inner Bruce Banner really loves the way we adjusted and completely turned this around as a committee and as a community of artists. With all these new challenges, we really had to get creative and the artists stepped up to help us. Most of the artists have sent in videos describing and expanding on their work and the themes of the art show. We're gonna have a online virtual gallery and then we'll also have online discourse spaces. We can take deeper dives into the theme with you all and the artist. Here's a sneak peek at what some of the artists have sent us already. I think at this moment in time, it's very apparent that the most critical thing that we see and that we um, are able to shed light on is the true nature of our oneness. I feel like my responsibility is to educate myself, uh, to understand the situation that we still are going through today, um, but also to, to stand up physically, verbally. If I see injustice anywhere, at a store, uh, in line trying to buy something, if somebody is treating somebody differently than they're treating me, it's my responsibility to stand up. Maybe, I suppose, we should uh, conclude that uh, people of African descent are the very gatekeepers of humanity. And put another way, maybe uh, as the well-being of people of African descent goes, so goes the well-being of all of humanity. Hi, my name is Maya Vidyumba. This art piece is called Eyes of the World. So the eyes so the eyes are like your pupil of the eye, looking out to the beautiful world. I go through life uh, chewing things up and digesting them, and they inform me internally. And it's kind of, okay, so that's kind of a magical process, right? Not really, it's called inspiration. Art is my life, my nobility, my resilience my provider, my creator working through me. Thank you. My name is Claudia and I serve as outreach coordinator here at Green Anchor. Hi, my name is Dave Walters and I serve as the facilities manager at Green Anchor. Hello, my name is Nura Walters and I serve as a volunteer at Green Acre. My name is Ed Phillips and I work here at Green Acre as an assistant facilities and uh, I'm also on the, serving on the art committee with a lot of joy. My name is Frank Robinson Jr. I'm the operations manager here at Green Acre. I've had the honor of serving on the art committee for about a year now. So for the past two years Green Acre has been focusing on combining the arts and discourse spaces to elevate the conversation and transcend a lot of the barriers that uh, are in place when we come to a conversation. And we've gone from exploring uh, justice through beauty as an umbrella theme to Afrofuturism and inherited beauty, and now uh, pupil of the eye. And we are hoping to continue these conversations um, as we have in the past, but now we'll bring it to the virtual realm. Thou art like unto the pupil of the eye, which is dark in color, yet it is the fount of light and the revealer of the contingent world. The accomplishment of unity between the colored and the white will be an assurance of the world's peace. If we can unite as blacks and whites, that will lead to world peace. And I think I was very excited to see what artists would come up with to explore that because it will take both of us uh, to do that together. But the return of world peace is just beautiful. 
I, I had the opportunity to actually work with putting some artwork into this show as well, too. How I found the time, I don't know, but I was able to do so. I'm a firm believer very strongly that the racial harmony of this world is what's going to bring about, as Baha'u'llah says, uh, the world peace. I'm actually bringing a balance inside myself on how to have racial relationships. And to bring about that inside me, I would like to present that to the art world in my artwork and also working with artists and coming together in a way to get this message, this vital, very important message out there that we can work together, we can have harmony, and out of that, we can have world peace. With this uh, various quotes that we shows, I actually was very interested in the, in the first one, talking about um, people of color being a fountain of light and the revealer of the contingent world, and how the function of the pupil is to um, let light in, but also to um, allows us to see what's, what's um, in the world around us. And I, and I was trying to think of how um, our communities will be if we uh, elevate people of color and if we allow people of color to come into their full, um, beautiful selves and be a, a, an equal contributor to the community and societies that we live in and how magnificent a world will be and how much better we will all be if we were finally, you know, giving justice to, to Black people who have been oppressed through, you know, for so many hundreds of years. What I really love about the, the pupil of the I quote is the imagery that it has. Um, I feel like there's um, a lot uh, as an artist that people can work with, both the literal um, meaning and also the, the figurative that's in there. When we talk about race amity, things often get kind of bogged down on the uh, negative. I'm really excited about highlighting the positive, um, uplifting people of color. And the, the quote that we have is incredibly uplifting and I'm really looking forward to what comes out of that. What I find most moving about this whole uh, uh, enterprise of having art shows and social discourse combined. Uh, it, it comes under the, the umbrella of, of exploring justice through beauty, because beauty is, is another form of truth. Exploring justice through beauty is to find what is truly wonderful to be able to share it with everyone. For, for this particular show, exploring the meaning of the quote, thou art like unto the pupil of the eye, it highlights the um, inherent uh, specialness and no nobility. In this case, African Americans has something special and unique and spiritual to offer to the human race. And if we can see each other as noble and as truly gifted, then there, there is definitely something to build on for the world's peace. And um, bringing this time together that we've just had to a conclusion, it's, it's just a way of saying again to each and every one of you that have participated in this, we could not do this without you, and we know that, and we, with a, the, the deepest appreciation, um, want to say thank you. And with that, we also want to invite you to continue the conversations and also tune into our future discourse spaces and enjoy the rest of the virtual show. Thank you. Thank you.